Okay. Um, for the first example, ladies and gentlemen, basically what we're, all we're simply doing is we're going to be applying the rules of exponents to simplify. And if you guys remember, the rules of exponents that we dealt with was when you multiply exponents, you add the powers. When you divide exponents, you subtract the powers. And when you have a negative exponent, you got to um, use the as the reciprocal to make it positive. So the first thing I like to do, though, we can only apply the rules of exponents when we have terms that have our exponents that have the same base. So we can only apply the rules of exponents to the x's. We can only apply the rules of exponents to the y's. So the first thing I do is I like to separate it, is I know I can only reduce my numbers. I know I can only reduce x to the 5 over x squared. And I know I can only reduce y to the negative first over y cubed. Okay. Now, um, basically what I do is I just reduce. Does 21 divide into 3? Yes. 21 goes into 3 how many times? Zero. Zero. It doesn't go into 3. Right? It actually goes in, it doesn't go in there zero times, but it goes in there a decimal, um, a, per, a, a fraction, fractional part. Um, but can we reduce this? Is 3 over 21, can we reduce that to a smaller fraction? Yes. Yeah, we can, re we can reduce it to 1 7. Then, if you guys remember, the, what I said was when you divide exponents, you subtract the powers. So that's times x to the 5 minus 2. And then over here, it's times y to the negative first <coughs> minus 3. Okay, so x to the 5 minus 2 is going to be x to the third. It's really over 1. We keep it in the denominator. If you owe me a dollar negative 1 and you borrow 3 more dollars, you now owe me $4. Okay, well, now. Where did you get x over 1 from? It, the, when you're, these are in the numerator. I'm just trying to show you. Here's the denominator. I could write it as over 1. Just showing you that they're represented in the numerator. Then, as the last thing we talked about, is when you have a negative exponent, to write it positive, you've got to put it as a reciprocal. So that's going to now be in the denominator. So your final answer is x cubed over 7y to the fourth. That should have been your final answer. I put a 1 in front of it.